from the Milndavie Pottery in Strathblane, Scotland. I want to start by talking about storing clay at home. And if you've hired our basic kit, you will have received with it uh, a wet box, possibly like this. Uh, it's a box that has plaster in the bottom, a couple of centimetres of the box. And uh, what you do is you fill the box up with water, leave it for a minute or so, so that it soaks into the plaster and then tip the excess water away, uh, making sure that the plaster itself uh, is, is no longer wet, but it will be retaining the moisture. And then you can keep your clay in this box with the lid on, pack your clay up in something uh, like cling film for example, um, uh, unless it's small pieces. Small pieces will just stay fine in this box but, but a large lump of clay will slowly dry out uh, unless you've packed it up into something airtight. We haven't really found a, a better solution than cling film but it's not ideal. We certainly uh, think that if you're going to only keep your clay in this box for a day or two that you probably don't need cling film at all. But if you do use cling film, be aware that after you have taken the cling film off your clay, a tiny layer of clay will be left on the cling film and that will dry instantly. So that when you re-wrap your clay, what you're doing is you're putting a layer of clay dust over the top of your wet clay. And that is a really bad idea. You don't want to mix wet and dry clay together if you're going to be making things. It, it's not, it doesn't work well. Now, before we had these plaster boxes, we used a different system, uh, which was an ordinary uh, lock and lock style uh, box. And we had these plastic racks, which are uh, made for storing bacon in the fridge, but they work very well for clay. Uh, and what we would do is we would put wet cotton wool under the rack, uh, put the rack in the box and put the clay on top. You probably can do it without the rack, so long as you keep the co wet cotton wool in the corners. We're not sure, we've never done that, but what you're trying to do is keep your clay in a moist atmosphere without actually getting it wet. If your clay does dry out, you can recycle it and we're going to put a completely separate video onto our YouTube channel about that. As your clay dries, it gets more and more fragile. And once it's bone dry, it's really easily broken. I honestly didn't tap very hard with that. So uh, don't worry, I'm going to recycle this. It's not wasted clay. then there is um, a quite simple way of rehydrating it. So you need a, an airtight bag and uh, it's best to put the pieces of clay in uh, quite small. So, you know, just crack them a bit more. Once you know that they've gone, you might as well enjoy the cracking and put them into the bag. Just try not to get any bits of fluff in there. You're really just wanting clay in your bag. And then, I've got a box of uh, just a Tupperware with water in it here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to put a couple of spoonfuls of water into, in with the clay. Uh, teaspoons, you don't need loads of water just a few drops really uh, and it's very lazy of me not to get up and get a spoon uh, slightly more than that there we are so just at the bottom of the bag you can see a little bit of the water hanging around uh, then what you need to do is uh, close the bag in a way that really pushes out as much air as it's possible to push out. So I've kind of rolled it before I do this double zip block thing. Uh, the less air, the better. So now what you've got in here is some water and some dry clay that we're hoping will combine with each other. 
And what I'm going to do, it's very simple, I'm going to put that bag into my box of water, making sure that the clay part is under the water level and making sure that no water can get into the bag. Uh, I could have crushed this clay up with a rolling pin inside that bag and if you do that it, it will um, combine with the water more quickly but be careful that you don't uh, cut your plastic bag because then uh, if, if water gets inside this then the whole plan is ruined because what's happening is that, or so I've been told, is that uh, the water pressure uh, which is surrounding the clay in here is pushing the water molecules into the clay. I don't know if that's correct but it works and that's all that matters. So in a couple of days time I will remove it and I'll squish it with my fingers and see if it's squishable into a ball um, inside. If I feel like it, I haven't put enough water in I'll put a little bit more in and do it again in a couple of days time and uh, it should be within a week that you've managed to squish that clay into uh, the semblance of a ball of usable clay. Uh, the only thing to say about that is that that clay has not been wedged, which means that there could be air pockets in it, which is really bad if you're making things. So you need to watch our other video about wedging, but you can definitely recycle your dry clay and so long as you do wedge it, you can reuse it and make fantastic pottery.